Hello everyone. This is a video about Unix programming concept of SED. What is SED? SED stands for Stream Editor. It is basically a multi-purpose tool which combines the work of several filters. How does SED work? SED uses instructions to act on text. Instruction combines an address for selecting lines with action to be taken on them. The syntax is Addressing in SED Addressing can be done in two ways. Firstly, by entering the line number. Secondly, by specifying an enclosed pattern which occurs in the line. Line addressing Line addressing uses the same syntax as SED. Address can be specified in two ways. Firstly, by mentioning a single line number and secondly, by mentioning a group of two lines. Here is a complete example. The two most common actions used by SED are P and Q. P for printing the lines and Q to quit. As mentioned earlier, SED can also select a contiguous group of lines from anywhere in the file. SED is not restricted to selecting a single group of lines. We can select as many selections of lines as we require. SED also has a negation operator which can be used with any action using multiple instructions. We can use E and F options whenever SED is used with multiple instructions. E option allows us to enter as many instructions as we want, each preceded by the option. When we have too many instructions or when we have a set of instructions which are used very often, we can store them in a file and retrieve them later whenever required. We use F option for this purpose. SED allows repeating the options as well. We can use F option with multiple files and we can also combine E and F options. Here is an example to illustrate the F option. Context addressing. The second form of addressing is called context addressing and it lets you specify one or two patterns to locate the lines. The pattern must be bounded by a slash on either side. Using regular expressions. Context, context addresses also use regular expressions which we have already seen. Here are a few examples. We use caret and dollar tokens in regular expressions. Text editing. This section discusses some of the editing commands available in SED's action command. SED insert text and change the existing text in a file. Some of the editing commands available in SED are I to insert, aid to append and C to change. Here is the procedure to insert. Double spacing text. The following command inserts a blank line each line of the file is printed. This is another way of double the uh, double spacing text. Here is an example. Write in selected lines to a file. The W command is used to write the selected lines to a separate file. The following procedure shows how we can write lines to a file. Deleting lines. SED uses the D command delete to delete lines from a file. Either of the following commands selects all lines except those containing director and saves them in a list. Deleting blank lines. A blank line consists of any number of spaces, tabs or nothing. How to delete these lines? Following is the procedure to delete a blank line. Substitutions. Substitution is the most easiest and the very much important feature of SED. 
it replaces a pattern in it in its input with something else some more regular expression characters that make the use scd so compelling substitution is not restricted to a single character it can be a string scd also uses regular expression for patterns to be substituted to replace all occurrences for a given example is here performing multiple substitutions you can perform multiple substitution with one invocation of scd here is the procedure for it compressing multiple spaces how do you delete trailing spaces from the second third and fourth fields this is referred to as compressing multiple spaces and here is the procedure to compress multiple spaces the remember pattern the second form suggests that scd remembers the scan pattern it is done using the two forward slashes command basic regular expressions there are three types of regular expressions the repeated pattern the interval regular expression and the tagged regular expression the expressions themselves are quoted so the shell card interpret them the repeated pattern we sometimes encounter situations when the source pattern also occurs at the destination we can then use the special character ampersand to represent it all of these commands do the same interval regular expression it uses a single or a pair of numbers surrounded by escape curly braces scd and grep also use the interval regular expression that uses an integer to specify the number of characters preceding a pattern the ire uses an escaped pair of curly braces and takes three forms all of these three forms have a single character regular expression ch as the first element this can either be a literal character a dot or a character class the tagged regular expression this is the most complex of all regular expressions and possibly the finest it relates to breaking up a line into groups and then extracting one or more of these groups the tagged regular expression requires two regular expression to be specified one each for the source and target patterns syntax of tag regular expression is given by internal commands used by scd scd uses a few internal commands to for text editing and other purposes like i for inserting a for appending and c to change the text d to delete the uh, lines etc